it recording? You can, can you check? If it's counting, it's recording. Yeah, it's red now. Uh, I can see some numbers. I just can't see it moving. All right, sounds good. That's good. Thank you. All right. We're going to uh, answer the question that was posted today by one of the subscribers. I think uh, the way I learn or something like that is his name on YouTube. So uh, the question was asked because you're looking into getting an SVR or a uh, Alfa Romeo quadrifolio and you ask what the difference might be and what is the reason why I switched so let's answer the difference first between the two cars all right so the difference would be for the SVR is between the Alfa Romeo is that the sound the sound of the engine because it's a V8 engine it's a lot louder and I don't think any V8 SUV can sound better than the F-Pace SVR. So if you're going for sound, I would say the SVR is better. But the Alfa Romeo has a different sound being a V6 twin turbo. It has a unique racy turbo V6 sound like a race car. Most race cars nowadays are V6 race cars, so it sounds like a uh, high revving Ferrari engine. Not the Ferrari V8, but a, a six cylinder race car sound. So that's, that's the main distinction when it comes to sound. Now, as far as the, the way that they look, they're both unique looking cars. Uh, they're, they're both kind of rare where we live. And you don't see them that often, but I can tell you the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio is a lot more rare. There's less cars uh, in town exactly like it. I, I, it. It might be the only one in town here. There's a couple SVRs in town. Now, as far as the interior goes, the interior is somewhat comparable. The SVR is a little bit more spacious. The interior, I feel like the SVR seats are a lot prettier. Uh, it's got the Alcantara headliner. Uh, you know, but the Alfa Romeo interior is uh, also very nice because... See that dog? <laughs> the dog was picking up. He's really um, whole, half of his body out. Anyway, he's got distracted like a squirrel. Um, the Alfa Romeo has a carbon fiber interior, which is also very unique. It's it's such a unique interior that when you're sitting in it, looking at the steering wheel or dashboard, you feel like you're in an exotic car. That's kind of how it feels. I mean, the steering wheel, as you've seen in the videos, looks like a Ferrari steering wheel. So you feel more like you're in a more unique car inside the Alfa Romeo, right? Okay, let's talk about handling. <clears throat> Quiet first as you hear that Hellcat roar. Let's talk about handling. <clears throat> the SVR is a big V8 car, all right? Big would means to say to me is that it is heavy and you feel that it's heavy. It's got a ton of power, 550 horsepower, so it overcomes that weight with that power, but you can still feel how heavy the car is when you're driving it. So the Alfa Romeo, on the other hand, is a bit of a mind trick because it's still an SUV. It's still big visually, but when you drive it, although it only has a 510 horsepower twin turbo v6 when you drive it it feels light and i can only say this and the words may not completely explain what i'm saying and you gotta drive it if you can test drive both back to back that would be ideal because you'll understand what i'm saying 
So the Alfa Romeo seems like if you put them side by side with the SVR, they seem to be the same size. But when you drive the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio, it feels smaller. It feels lighter. I think it's a function of the steering and the suspension, how the Ferrari engineers design the suspension. So I'm gonna ask my wife here because she drives both cars. What do you think, mom? Am I correct in, in explaining the difference in the driving? Yep, 100%. You feel like the SVR has, is a little bit heavier, all those It is heavy, power. it is right. heavy, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. And the Alfa Romeo feels like a small car when you drive. It's smaller and lighter. Mm -hmm. Right. So my wife drives the car too, and she probably drives Alfa Romeo more than I do. Uh, and I drive it long distance, but she drives it daily. Uh, so that would be the main difference, I would say, between two cars. They're both fantastic cars. They're both unique in the way they look. They both have a unique sound, so you will mm -hmm. be hard-pressed to find other cars that sound like the SVR. You will be hard-pressed to find uh, another car that sounds like the Stelvo Quadrifoglio. So if you're looking for uniqueness in the engine sound, you'll, you'll get both. Uniqueness in the interior, you, they're both unique interiors. Uh, I get that, but I don't know if I can say the Alpha interior is better than the SVR interior. I'm not sure uh, because they're both good interior-wise. Uh, the only drawback of the Alpha, the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, the infotainment system is not as high tech as compared to the SVR or even the Cellcat. Uh, so you might, that might be a a, a a deal breaker for you. It still has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but the screen is kind of small. So the SVR is a large screen. This Hellcat is a large screen. So it's up to you to decide which car you want. Uh, but it comes to driving, that will be the main difference. The SVR feels heavy. The Stelvio Quadrifoglio feels light. Now, I'll give you this unique perspective that I don't know if everyone has experienced with the SVR. The SVR at high speeds has some sort of instability. And I cannot pinpoint what it is. And I talked to another guy that owns a Jaguar yesterday. And he agreed with me that... Uh, the Jag seems to have some sort of instability at high speed. So it's weird, I don't know how to explain it, but you're driving along and, you know, I usually drive at high speed, so you're driving along, all of a sudden you feel this instability. And another friend of mine drove my SVR and he said the same thing. Uh, you're just driving along, everything normal, the road is fine, all that, and you feel this little instability that little shake in the back that I, I do not like because when I'm driving high speeds, I do not want to feel like, you know, there's a surprise. I don't like that. And it's more noticeable when it's super windy outside. You feel this instability a lot more when it's super windy in the highways. Uh, that's something to think about. In the Alfa Romeo, you never feel instability. In fact, you can go in corners really, really fast, and it's just a matter of how much guts do you have on how, how fast you want to take that corner, because the Alfa Romeo will take that corner without instability, fast and sharp in the entry and the exit. So that's the difference in handling. They're both really quick and fast cars. The SVR is just so much torque, because I think the SVR uh, torque is over 400 plus uh, torque, and uh, and the uh, Alfa Romeo Stelvio around 400 too, but it's just has a lot more punch when you're launching it, right? So when you're making that decision, well, which car you want to get, I encourage you to test drive one at least at a back to back, so you'll know what I'm saying. If you are coming from a V8, you might not like the V6 twin turbo sound. Because at the beginning, I really did not like it. Because in the Stelvio Quadrifoglio, the exhaust only opens up, at least in my model here, only opens up fully on race mode. And as you know, Stelvio Quadrifoglio on race mode, 
all the electronic safety systems are off when you're in race mode. And it's not the safest thing to do, uh, driving around with all the electronic safety systems turned off. But I modified mine that the exhaust is now completely open at whatever mode I'm driving. It could be normal mode, it could be dynamic mode, where the, the safety systems are on, it still has that sound. So now I like it a lot, the way it sounds. But like I said, if you're going for the V8 sound, nothing beats the SVR when it comes to V8 sound. The, the, the drawback for me for the SVR is that is that instability at high speed that was, that was something I didn't like at all okay so let me answer why we change from the SVR to the Alfa Romeo uh, we figured we already tried the SVR one of the biggest decisions that I, I have made in changing is that the SVR that instability I just wasn't really um, I didn't feel safe driving at high speeds with the SVR I mean, it's nothing that, that you can't handle. You will handle it. It's just that I don't like the surprise. I want my cars to be planted and stable at whatever driving situation I, I'm driving. And in the Hellcat, you, are, you, have, you already know. The Hellcat is a rear-wheel drive, and you know when it will misbehave. With the SVR, it's all-wheel drive, so you just don't know when it will misbehave, and I don't like the surprise. So that's one reason why we switch. But also, I want to really to try the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio uh, because of the unique driving dynamic that it has. I would say the main reason that that we switch from the SVR to the Quadrifoglio is the handling. That's the main reason, the handling. Because it's just a better handling car. In fact, in long distance drives, I like to drive the Stelvio Quadrifoglio more than the Hellcat. Although I enjoy driving this Hellcat long distance, the only problem with driving the Hellcat long distance is, is that uh, you just can't leave it around. Like you're staying overnight, you just feel unsafe because somebody might come steal it. That's what sucks. The Stelvio Quadrifoglio, not a lot of people know what it is. They have no idea what it is. So it's less likely to be stolen, don't get mind you. You still probably would steal it, but anyways, it's just you don't have that apprehension that you stay overnight in a hotel or Airbnb uh, with a quadrifoglio, you won't have to worry too much about it being stolen. With a Hellcat, you can't sleep. <laughs> you can't sleep properly at night because you might come out, the car's not there. That's the only drawback. But like I said, if I had to answer one reason why we switch from a Stelvio, uh, but from SVR Jag to the, the, the Stelvio Portfolio is handling. I just wanted to try the handling of the Stelvio Portfolio and the instability of the Jag was enough for me to say, okay, I've tried this. I love the sound. I love the way it, it sounds. I love the interior. It's a solid built car, uh, but I just can't handle the instability that, that, a, a, that it has. That, that's almost a surprise every time it happens. So that's the answer to your question. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio Quadrifoglio, we just have it for like, how many months now? Three, four months? And I haven't fully explored uh, the handling of it. But I can tell you, it, it's fantastic. It's fantastic, hard to drive, it's quick, gives you confidence in corners, and no matter what condition of weather or road it is, it, it's, it just gives you confidence that it'll get you to the place where you need to be uh, because you don't feel like you're going to end up in a ditch. And I don't like that feeling that, that the SVR gave me. Oh, mind you, we never got to the ditch with the SVR uh, in all weather conditions either. So uh, it's just that that little bit of instability that you'll experience that kind of kind of left a bad taste uh, for us. That's one of the reasons why we switch. Plus, the other reason is we wanted to try another SUV, and the Alfa Romeo fit the bill for what we were looking for, and it's a fantastic car to drive. So I'll make more videos of it, and you know, I'm hoping you're enjoying this video inside the Hellcat, and I'm hoping I was able to answer your question regarding this, the difference.
difference between both of these cars. Um, so yeah, uh, comment below. Uh, we can keep discussing it and finding out whatever questions you might have in the ownership experience of both cars. When it comes to service, the SVR that I had had five-year uh, warranty uh, extra and a five-year um, maintenance, so there was no cost to bring it to the dealership. There was no cost. Uh, people say it's an unreliable. I never really had issues with it. Uh, the only thing that happened was I punctured a tire, but that will happen with any car. Alfa Romeo, it doesn't have that five-year it has still warranty, but doesn't have the five-year service uh, uh, pre-paid uh, for. So Alfa Romeo, it's a $400 oil change once a year. Uh, so might that be the difference? When it comes to gas, obviously the SVR, you know, needs more gas. Uh, so there's there's a little little things here and there, but the main reason for me is the driving dynamics. I like the Alfa Romeo better driving dynamic-wise. Uh, so hopefully this answers your question. And I'm going to go here in the highway and I'll let you listen to the Hellcat.